Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 5th grade concept of adding and subtracting fractions with models. This is standard 5.3H in the great state of Texas, and we are using item number 15 off the 2019 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So Vanna is using fraction trips to show the difference between, we've got two fractions here, 5 sixths and 1 four. So we've got 5 sixths minus 1 fourth. They go ahead and tell you that difference does mean that we're looking for the answer to a subtraction problem. So we can use these fraction strips. The problem is we don't have any labels on these fraction strips. So what we can do here to help ourselves out is we can just look at each row separately. Let's start at the top. Let's count how many, I'm going to put denom right here, how many sections we have. I'm going to label it down the side, and that's going to be our denominator. So on this first row, two sections means we're going to have a denominator of two. Because remember, the denominator is always the total, total number of sections. So we're looking at each row separately. Next, we've got a denominator of three, so those are thirds, fourths. Now, obviously the pattern's going to break here, because look at this next row. It's not fifths. It's one, two, three, four, five, six. So we don't really deal with fifths too much. We don't deal with sevenths. That's kind of a strange fraction if we ever see it, so that's going to be eighths. So we just really need to count, and this doesn't even go to tenths. Now we're going all the way up to twelfths. So these are the most common fractions that we're going to use just because they're really great for forming equivalent fractions. We're not going to see many ninths, many sevenths, fifths, not many of those. So we need to figure out five sixths and one fourth. So let's figure out five sixths. So here's our sixths. That's our sixths row. And so let's just go ahead and shade in 5, 6. That's 1, that's 2, that's 3, that's 4, that's 5, right there. So we're just going to kind of shade this in just like this to visually represent 5, 6. I'll put it right there. Remember, this denominator is our bottom number. That's our total. So the numerator is the number selected. And so sometimes they're shaded. In this case, we're just going to shade our own. That's the smaller amount. of How many out of the total are we selecting? So in this case, we're selecting five out of the six. So we also need one fourth. Fourth, thankfully, is right above it. And so we're going to put this right here. And we're going to shade that right there. And we can just call that one fourth. So if we wanted to compare these two, well, the difference would be, it looks like we've got this chunk right here. From the end of my one fourth to the end of my five sixth, this is my difference. Now, how in the world are we supposed to subtract this? Because it kind of cuts this six right here in half, so it's not even an even six, right? So it looks like I've got one sixth, two sixths, three sixths, three and a half sixths. So we can't even measure this in sixths. Well, what we can do is let's see if we could go down to our twelfths. That's where we're going to get most of our help, and this is where equivalent fractions come really helpful. So let's take a look at this 5 sixths. I'm going to move this right down there. And you see my 5 sixths easily line up with 10 twelfths. And we could just visually see how those line up. So we're going to see 5 sixths equals 10 twelfths. We're also going to see that my 1 fourth lines up right here underneath, and that's going to be 3 twelfths. So if we take our 10 twelfths and our 3 twelfths, now we have 10 minus 3, that's going to be 7 twelfths. 